Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video of me sketching um, my new profile picture. So it is a self-portrait and obviously it's more of a character of me and it's super cartoony because it's my style. But I begin with drawing a circle just to kind of get my head shape um, and then I always draw a line going down and a second circle where like my chin will be and kind of where I want my face to end. And then I flesh it out, um, adding my cheeks and my jawline and giving myself an ear. Uh, I do have gauges, so I made my ear a little bit longer than I usually would on a different person. Um, so I was able to fit my stretched lobe in. Um, I have a cartilage piercing. And I made a mistake, so I'm looking for my big white eraser. There we go. So I'm just going to clean up the lines a little bit for some stuff that I don't need. And redraw where I want my eyes to lay. Usually, um, your eyes are going to start where your ears start. And then like the tip of your nose would end where your ears would end. And those are some guidelines. Um, but obviously for a cartoon, you're going to exaggerate things. So I'm making my eyes way bigger than they naturally are. My nose a little smaller and my mouth a little bit smaller to kind of make it more cute than if I was doing a realistic photo. Because realistically, my nose would be proportionate <laughs> to my eyes. My eyes would be much smaller. And here I am deciding I wanted to change my jawline, which at the end of the day doesn't really make sense since I do have a beard, so it gets erased anyway. Um, but I'm going to make my face a little bit more narrow. So you're going to see me redraw my ear, bringing it down a little bit to match on the same level as where my eyes are. Another tip to make things more cute, um, or I guess even like a little bit more anime, um, is to give yourself a larger forehead or give the character a larger forehead. It makes everything appear to be cuter. I don't know if that really makes sense because you would think it wouldn't, but um, by kind of splitting the head in half and having the top half mostly forehead and eyebrows and like the very top of your eyes and then the lower half with all the rest of your features it squishes in the face and then like it makes it just seem more cute and I'm not going to do a full body just so it's a profile picture so I'm going to do just my shoulders and like the very top of my chest and usually what I do when I draw shoulders is I'll fill out the neck first and then I'll make one shoulder and then think of the angle of how I want it to be positioned. And I kind of make like a U, a large U or a, um, a V shape to kind of like make sure that everything is balanced. And here I am adding my eyes in and where I want my pupils. Deciding to make them bigger than I actually are. Again, to give that cute factor, I am exaggerating everything so my, not only are like my eyes bigger, but my pupils will be bigger and almost more of like a dilated feeling. And then I do have pretty thick eyebrows in general, but when I draw myself in like a cartoon form, I exaggerate it. So you always want to pick like the features that you're known for. So I have crazy hair, I have a beard, I wear glasses. Um, so those are the things that I kind of always exaggerate when I'm drawing myself. 
Alright, so let's just speed this up. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to wear because um, I changed my style a lot, but I ended up deciding to give myself just a hoodie and a basic t-shirt underneath because that is what I'm wearing pretty frequently. Um, athleisure is very in right now and I do like to follow trends, so I felt like it was fitting. Then I'm going to add in my glasses. It's another feature that I am known for. Um, I do wear contacts, but for the most part, I usually am in glasses, and I usually always draw myself in glasses. I'm just going to start sketching out my hair and my beard shape. When it comes to drawing hair, especially in cartoons, you want to think of it almost as in chunks. Um, so my hair gets very crazy in general. And I have it, it's a lot shorter in the back and the sides, and then I have it much longer on the top. So you always want to kind of think of it, like, and the layers, like, as a grouping instead of drawing individual strands. So I usually give myself some spiky pieces that go in my face and then get pushed back, and they're kind of all over the place. So you don't want to do, like, individual strands. Adding on to the craziness that's my hair. And then when I do my beard, I don't do like too much detail. I usually just kind of make very little lines and do the shape of my beard and then make my mustache and like the top, like where it starts. Um, but I don't do like individual strands. I also don't do it in like clusters because well, it's like one giant cluster And here I am just outlining my picture. I'm using a 0.5 thickness Copic line marker and it seems to be my go-to marker especially when I do this size of drawing. Um, it's just very nice and I really like the thickness of it. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, it just seems to be perfect. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so so much for watching this I will be uploading a second video of this of me just coloring it and describing How I use some blending techniques and what markers I use and all of that a good stuff um, Yeah, that's pretty much it if you enjoyed the video Please hit the like button if you have been liking what you see please hit the subscribe button I still don't have a exact date of when I will be uploading videos or a set date for that matter. Um, so let me know what is the best time for you guys watching Pleasure. And I'll see you guys next time.
Yeah.